Check, check. Hello. Hi. Yeah, look at this dramatic lighting. Look at this. It's light over here, but it's like dark over here. It's like, what is this? Uh, Star Wars or something? Ha! I don't even know. Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, and you know what day it is. Uh, wait, no, you don't know what day it is. I'm gonna tell you what day it is right now. Today is May 1st. What is May 1st? Well, it's just, it's May 1st. But today, I'm making it the first day of the Pack a Day in May challenge. And uh, you're like, Adam, what does that mean? Uh, a pack of what? A pack of cigarettes? Huh, no. I would probably be dead. I am talking about some sweet, sweet lithium polymer. That's the kind of pack I'm talking about. Because, you know, if you're like me, sometimes you don't make time for what you value. And that's a bad thing. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't not make time for what you value. And one of the things that I value is uh, flying around. Quadcopters, airplanes, RC stuff. It's a lot of fun, and I think sometimes, sometimes we forget that. Sometimes I forget that anyway. I'll speak for myself. And so what I am challenging myself and you, I'm challenging you to do is this May or June or July or whatever month you're in, uh, fly. Fly at least a pack, a battery pack every day for you know however long you want, but I'm just, just do like a month or something and see what happens i'm interested in seeing what happens because lately it's just I've, you know just ah this and that I just find myself too busy which is a boring grown-up word Ugh, i don't want to do that so uh, to 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 fly i find myself too busy to fly and flying is uh i think it's really important i think it's therapeutic actually um and of course it's well it's very stress it's very stress relieving unless like you crash and stuff and things don't go as you plan and then then it really gets your heart going uh which can be good too and that's kind of what happened today because i was flying around the budget basher you've seen this before have a whole video series about building this quadcopter and um well you know we, we've been having that death roll thing that's been happening where for some reason like during punch outs and for some reason, it's always like, you know, when you're really high above the ground, it'll just go into like a death roll. It doesn't even hit anything. Um, and what happened uh, this time was I went into, in, I'll show you the, I'll show you the flight footage here. Uh, I went, I was you know feeling real good. I was going to do like a little punch out and then like dive down through the trees. Well, as I was, after I punched out and I was pitching forward, as you can see on the stick commands there. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, it just went, and then it landed, fortunately, in a tree, uh, but that could have been bad if it got stuck. And then fortunately, it fell out of the tree, um, but it was bad because it hit the ground. But fortunately, the battery was actually fine. This is a race day quads. Uh, it's a little little bit cracked, but race day quads. Uh, 1,500 milliamp hour four cell. These things are thick, man. Crazy thick. But... Um, the battery uh, became disconnected, which is actually kind of good because I was worried something was going to like catch on fire. Um, <clears throat> but everything seems to be okay. We've got some mud or some dirt in there, so I'm going to clean that up and we're going to we're going to see how it goes. I, I think it'll be all right. But this prop just got obliterated, um, and actually, this prop got bent. But other than that, I think we're okay. So anyway, the bad news is. Um, I don't think the beta flight update or the the new beta flight thing alone just beta beta flight 4.0 is going to fix uh the death roll issues. Uh somebody just commented on the death roll video about with the the Mamba, the Mamba flight controller is what we're talking about the the brains in here, the Mamba F4 flight controller. Yeah, F4. Yeah. Uh from Diatone. Somebody commented that they turned off the uh runaway takeoff prevention and then that fixed it for them. But I don't know. I've heard some other people having different success. And some people say it does certain things fix it. So I'm not sure if it's like a quad specific thing. Or if it's like a maybe there's either multiple fixes. Or or maybe it's just it, it just happened to work. Or maybe it just 
I don't know. Could be coincidence. So anyway, that happened. And that's why it's a challenge because you have to either fly good enough so that you don't crash and then you're able to fly your quad or whatever the next day. And then, or you, uh, you repair your quadcopter or your, your plane or anything like that. So that's why it's a challenge. You got to keep those batteries charged up and ready to rock and roll and uh, keep your aircraft airworthy. So that's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try and do that and see how it works out. And if you're already flying a pack a day, well, good for you. You, uh, you're, you're special gold star. Um, where do we go from there? There's something else I was going to talk about. Oh yeah. Stick position overlay in uh beta flight 4.0. You can do the uh, stick position overlay. And for some reason on mine, it wasn't working and I was so sad, but you lovely people commented and you said, Hey, uh, the fix is you got to go back into beta flight and like upload the, I think, well, I thought you said download, but it's upload the fonts, um, the new like fonts or whatever for the new thingy thing. So I did that and it still didn't work. But then I watched Joshua Bardwell's video and the key component there is you have to have the battery connected to the quadcopter. Otherwise your OSD chip thingy won't turn on and then it won't change the font. So that's why, uh, so I, I figured that out. I mean, I watched the video figured out how to do that. And that's why um, you can see the stick position overlay, which is pretty cool. Uh, not the greatest like resolution in terms of like how, how much the stick is actually moving, but you get a pretty good idea. I don't know. Let me know. Do you like that more than, uh, than just like filming the sticks? Cause I feel like filming the sticks, it looks cool. And then and you can kind of visualize yourself doing it, but it's not quite as precise because my big thumbs, they're not that big, but my thumbs are in the way of the sticks, of actually seeing the sticks. So I will be checking in, I don't know, once a week or something like that to see see, uh, see how the pack-a-day challenge is going. And I know it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't sound like much of a challenge, really. It's like, oh, just one pack-a-day, but there's so much stuff in life that gets in the way of of kind of the, the point of like why you were there in the first place. I don't mean like the meaning of life. I don't think flying RC stuff is necessarily the meaning of life all the time, but you know, you get the idea. It's like, I make videos and stuff about RC stuff because it's like super fun and I have a great time doing it. But then sometimes I get so caught up in either just sort of the whole, I don't know, the production of the video, not that these videos are like, have a super high production value, but I end up kind of forgetting about how fun RC stuff actually is and how much I've learned over the years, like knowledge, technical stuff and skills and experiences and the confidence that I've gained from learning all this stuff. So it's really a cool thing. And sometimes I, I don't take time to stop and think about it. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Enjoy flying a pack a day. Uh, I might film it and do some, just some, get some of the, the, you know, do like a montage later, or I might not, I don't know, you know, sometimes, sometimes you just got to get out there and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go where no one is to be where people are. Remember that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for being my buddy, and I'll see you.